ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತಿ ಸವಿಮಂಡ್ಯಾ ಎಜುಕೇಶನಲ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಪ್ರಸಾರ ಮಾಡುವವರು ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಮತ್ತು ತರಬೇತಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟು ಸವಿ ಮಂಡ್ಯಾ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಡಯಟ್ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿವ್ಯಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಜಿ ಯು ಎಚ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಕೆರೆಯಂಗಲ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ and let us discuss what they are doing yes you can see a boy here holding a bat in his hand and ready to play and you can see that sign a old man an old man is ready to is throwing the ball at the boy maybe their grandfather and grandson isn't it behind them you can see a old lady and a small girl is playing with a ball isn't it yes this also mean that a grandmother and a granddaughter is playing with a ball isn't it yes children we all know what is grandmother and grandfather isn't it yes you are right grandmother and grandfather means namaji matto tata how del ba yes we'll go to the next slide look at this picture children the same picture which i am giving you back again and i am having a task with you i have a two minutes task with you for that i want your notebook and a pen or pencil ready with you are you all ready yes now i have mentioned a picture here and i have told you have to write as many words as you can see in this picture will you do this children yes it's a very simple and easy task for you now what you have to do you have to look at the picture and write down as many words as you can see in this picture will you start children yes your time starts now yes children you can write the persons who are standing here as we have already discussed you can write the numbers of the things here you can also write the colors the place the dress what they are wearing isn't it see you can see so many things in this picture observe neatly from the top to bottom and from here to here you can observe neatly and write down the things and you can also write the feelings how they are playing you can read their face see how they are happy you, you can use those words also about grandmother and grandfather also what do you feel about them you can write that one also yes children let's stop now i am going to guess you what you have already written shall i yes bat ball two balls wickets grandmother grandfather grandson granddaughter boy girl green ground sky happy frock shirt pant trousers sari red color white color isn't it yes i know you have already written all these names in your notebook very good children now let us have some words in sentences and see how it works yes we can list out some sentences like this first one he or she is the most sweet person so look at the underlined word children here what word i have underlined yes sweet is the underlined word next sentence he or she is the most kind person yes who is he or she 
here he or she refers to grandma and grandpa grandmother and grandfather next the third sentence is he or she is the most beautiful person see here i am going to underline the beautiful person so beautiful next he or she is the most caring person see which word i have already underlined yes it's caring children we have already discussed these words in our last class can you remember that yes sweet kind beautiful and caring do you remember children what do we call these words as you are right these are adjectives in our last class we have already discussed what is an adjective is isn't it children yes very good children before going to the poem let us discuss the new words which we can see in the poem first one kindness kindness means daye karune alva now karune ullavar agirbeku so how can we use this word in a sentence for example please show kindness to others okay children we'll repeat the sentence please show kindness to others very good the next word is recall yes the next word is recall recall means remember remember you know recall andre nenup maadkolodakke we call it as recall very good children how can we use this word recall in a sentences for example i have given one sentence here can you recall what happened yesterday can you recall what happened yesterday okay the next word is hug what is an hug a hug means embrace here you can see a picture where the grandmother is hugging her granddaughter which means holding someone tightly in one's arm to express affection nivellaru nimma ajji mane hod takshana ajji en martare nimna appe muddartaralva that is called hug so how can we use this word hug in a sentence you have given one example giving hugs is what grandparents do best giving hugs is what grandparents do best very good children we have to note one thing in the poem is grandfather and grandmother are called in short form as grandma and grandpa in this poem okay children we'll move on to the poem dear grandma and grandpa yes when we are with you we always have fun you make us feel we are your special ones we can tell by the kindness in your smiles you recall how things look through the eyes of the child if we really need a hug or two yes we'll recite this poem if you can you can join with me for the first attempt or we can join in the second attempt also ready children yes when we are with you we always have fun you make us feel we are your special ones we can tell by the kindness in your smiles you recall how things look through the eyes of the child if we really need a hug or two yes i think you have catched the tune of the rhythm isn't it shall we sing it together now yes children we'll start ready start when we are with you we always have fun you make us feel we are you are special ones 
We can tell by the kindness in your smiles. You recall how things look through the eyes of the child. If we really need a hug or two. Very good children. Very good. Here, in the first line of this poem, we can see easily identify who is talking to whom. Can you guess who is talking to whom? Yes. When we are with you, we always have fun. We, here we is considered as grandchildren. Here we is considered as grandchildren. And you are considered as grandparents. So, it is clear that here grandchildren are the speakers of this poem. So, grandchildren or parents koskara hartironta on poem. Okay? Yes. V is considered as grandchildren. Very good. When we are with you, we always have fun, isn't it? You raja ke log tiran thakar tira, first tell tira, ajjima ne hok tini tila tira, because you have fun when you go there, isn't it? So, we have fun when we are with you. Grandchildren are telling, when we are with you, we always have fun. Because you make us feel that we are special ones. So, special ones in the yaran consider mar tira yaran no guests. Very important persons, special persons are the constant matter. But here, for grandmother and grandfather, the grandchildren are the special ones. Because when they are ready to go to grandchildren's, grandparents' house, they feel very happy. They prepare some special sweets to give you, isn't it? Yes. We can tell by the kindness in your smiles. You recall how things look through the eyes of the child. So, every grandparents have a smile in his uh, kindness, isn't it? So, they always tell, Nanu chikon agidaga hagidde, ninna shtudda idaga, nan hi gidde, hagidde, and the hell tartare. They all recall, they remember the things, how they were child with you, isn't it? Nam jute share mar kol tare, naav hai gidvi, and tan bato hell tartare namge, nan chikon idaga, amara hatide, hi gidde, nan hagidde, hi gidde, class ki gokide, you know, and hell tartare, isn't it? That is what we already, already have discussed. Recall, isn't it? They recall the things, what they were doing in their childhood. If we really need a hug or two, they always give a hug for us, isn't it? When we go, we, they hug us. When we go back also, they hug us. Very good children. We'll go to the next stanza of the poem. We know that we can depend on you. Giving hugs is what grandparents do best. And you do it better than all the rest. Here is a secret and it is true. Grandma and Grandpa, our hearts belong to you. Yes, we'll sing this. We'll recite. Yes, ready, start. We know that we can depend on you. Giving hugs is what grandparents do best. And you do it better than all the rest here is a secret and it is true grandma and grandpa our hearts belong to you very good we'll sing once again will you join with me children please sing it loudly okay we know that we can depend on you Giving hugs is what grandparents do best. And you do it better than all the rest. Here is a secret and it is true. Grandma and Grandpa, our hearts belong to you. Very good children. So, here we know that we can depend on you because every time when our parents scold us, our grandparents run and come and say, don't scold, don't scold, okay, he will come up. So, we always can easily depend on our grandparents. So, giving hugs is what grandparents do best. 
the best thing that they can give is give a hug and give a kiss for us because they that is the very sweet thing that the grandparents can give us and you do it better than all the rest bere ellarigintanu adu thumba appuge that is a very beautiful thing we can get from the grandparents here is a secret and it is true grandma and grandpa our hearts belong to you yake avaru eshton care martare why they so care us why they so love us why they so deeply hug us because we belong to them isn't it yes here in this poem a beautiful and a very kind grandchild have described how his or her grandma and grandpa was the author was unknown we don't know who is the poet of this poem but we can surely say this poem really have written by one of the best grandchild from the best grandparents okay children so this is what all about dear grandma and grandpa from the lesson unit 7 we'll meet in the next class with the next topic children till then take care and study well thank you children bye